So you've got some dark spots in your hardwood floors and you want them to go away. I don't know if you're DIYing this or you're hiring a company and you want to be armed with information. Either way, I'm going to answer your questions in this video. My name is David. I'm from Lumberjack Flooring. If you've got some dark stains in your hardwood floors and they're clustered together, they're often circular, maybe you get down and sniff them and think, hmm, that smells bad. It smells like urine and it smells like urine because it is urine. If they're very small and dark and very clustered together, it's usually from a cat. And you can usually smell it if it's from a cat. It smells like a litter box, as you might have imagined. If it's from a dog, they're usually larger puddles. They're usually a little bit more spread out, but often still in the same room. What happens is these old houses have carpet. Or if it's a newer house, maybe it just had a rug over it. The dog goes, the cat goes, and then that urine soaks down into the floor. And as it soaks down in, some sort of chemical reaction takes place. And I'm not a scientist, so I'm not gonna try to tell you what that is, but it turns black or it turns very dark brown. Either way, it's bad. And it's not just on the surface of your floor. Wood is like a sponge. And that liquid, is going all the way down to the bottom of the floor if it doesn't get cleaned up. And when we're ripping these floors out, these dark spot areas, they're oftentimes dark on the bottom side as well. That urine has gone all the way through, especially if this is somewhere where the cat or dog has gone repeatedly. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you on how to get rid of these spots is, one, please don't go and try to bleach these things or mix up some weird concoction, it's not going to work. All you're going to do is introduce another type of chemical into your floor that will then off gas permanently into your house. And then when you do get it refinished, either yourself or the company you choose to hire and they try to finish over it, well, those chemicals you put in the floor have sponged down in there and they're still there. And depending on what type of finish you used, you may have a reaction. That area may now turn white in the finish coats or purple or black, or it may just peel. Either way, using some type of strain solution is not a good idea. So let's talk through the options that you do have. Either way, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You're gonna have to refinish at least this room. So option one, is when it's refinished, you stain it dark. Now, depending on what type of uh, stains that you use, there's a lot of different lines. I would recommend that you get either Duracell, Bona, or Burger Seidel. These are all good companies with great stains. Do not use Minwax. Do not allow the pro working on your floor to use Minwax. If he's using Minwax, you should have hired someone else. Minwax is not an appropriate floor stain. So let's talk you through some of the colors that can be used to hide these really dark stains. It's only going to be the very dark colors. The dark browns will come very close to hiding it. And if you wanna go brown, Bona, their cocoa will hide it quite well. From Duracell, their Heritage Brown will hide it quite well. If uh, you wanna just make sure it's gone completely, like 100% hide or 99% hide, you're gonna wanna go with an Ebony, a True Black. If you're going with, uh, those are Duracell colors. If you're going with uh, Bona, you're gonna wanna go with like a Graphite, a uh, Ebony, or a Driftwood. Driftwood is kind of a lighter gunmetal. The other two are very dark. These real dark colors, there's definitely some cons to having a real dark floor, and I'm not gonna get into that here, but those will cover 99%. Those browns I talked about will cover probably 80%. If you wanna go more of a medium brown, uh, that's, that is a color, but when I say that, I'm talking about the spectrum. Just understand it may look better but it's, it's not gonna be hidden. It's still very much going to be there. And I would discourage that route. So, stain it dark. 
is option one. Let's talk option two. Option two is you have some seamless patchwork done. So in this seamless patchwork, either yourself or whoever you hire it is going to cut all these board ends at different lengths, um, keeping those ends, you know, it, at least three inches apart, at least three inches apart. And cutting each one and then extracting it carefully so that they don't break any of the tongue and grooves around them. Then they're going to apply glue. They're gonna get the right kind of flooring to match and they're gonna put it back in. They're gonna, that glue is gonna hold it and then generally there's gonna be some small nails through the top. Those can be filled with wood filler. And this, if you didn't know it was there, it's generally very hard to spot if a nice job was done on it. If you're going with this patching method, one, it's expensive. It's very time intensive to, to get out there and cut every board with the oscillating saw, rip it down the middle with the circular saw, and then carefully pry bar and chisel the rest of it out, pull the nails without breaking the pieces around it. It's gonna take a long time. Hardwood floors are already expensive to get installed. Now you're having five times the labor, at least per square foot going in, maybe 10 times the labor. So understand this can get pricey very quickly. If you're DIYing it, it's not too bad. Just understand it's gonna take you a long time and uh, you don't wanna screw this up. The next thing you need to be aware of is the match. When you're getting match, you're gonna think, oh, if I just get the right character, match and the right species match, I'm good. Well, yes, but when you put in new wood into an old floor, that new wood almost always is going to be much lighter. The old wood has aged, it's darkened over time, it's from an old growth forest probably, depending on what era of house this is, and it's going to, to look a little bit different. If you're staining the floor, this will usually hide completely. If you wanna go with a natural floor, expect some slight change in color, usually a little lighter in that area that you put in. Just to summarize what we talked about, one, please don't try to put funny chemicals on your floor to make a stain come out that's all the way through the board. It's not going to work. Two, you're gonna to have to refinish and if it's a small room and it's not connected to a bunch of other stuff maybe just staying in it dark would be the easiest thing if you're gonna to have to stain the whole house dark you might want to reconsider three you can get it patched if you get it patched this is going to be fairly expensive you're still going to have to refinish but then you don't have these stains dictating what color your floor has to be so I hope this was very helpful. Please uh, let me know what you're going to do down in the comments with your floor. Please like, subscribe. If you need any help, you need any advice, comment down below. We'll try to get back to you and give you the best advice there is on how to fix your hardwood floors.